Hello everyone, in this project I have tried to create the link between Rhino Grasshopper which you can see on the left side of the window and uh, Autodesk Revit which you can see in the right hand side. At the, f at the beginning I have tried to create the uh, live and real time link but because of some limitations and the way that Revit works it's not possible to do that. Uh, you can find more uh, detail uh, about the limitations and the problems that to access to Revit real-time in my blog and also the paper that is created for this project. In this video I'm going to show you how we can read the objects in Grasshopper and create them in Revit. First I will start with points but before that I'm going to show you my code. In my code, I can accept three types of inputs, any objects that you have, any types of surface, and any B-reps. In the any object part, I will accept points, circles, lines, nerves, curves, poly polylines, and box. In the any surface, you can input any types of surface, and this node create a text file, and Revit can create, based on that text file, the same surface. And the last one takes any B-reps that you have and create it in the Revit. In my code, I have three sections that acts based on the three inputs that I have. You can see the code and you can find more detail about the code in the blog and the paper. Okay, here I have a surface. I've created the points on that surface. You can see the points here. I want to uh, use my application here in uh, Revit. If I click on this application, it will create the same points in Revit. When I'm using my node in Grasshopper, it creates a text file that you can see. These are the inputs. It shows that the input is point and also the XYZ location. The Grasshopper creates this file and Revit reads this file and create the same points. So if I click on this button, you can see that I have created the same points in Revit. My second example is on creating lines in Revit based on the lines that we have in Grasshopper. Here you can see the, se the same surface that I had. I projected the points of that surface on XY plane. Uh, the reason that I've projected those points is my Revit command has some limitation of creating lines and all points should be on one plane. That's why I have projected everything on XYZ plane. And I have another another point and I, I have connected all these points to this point. My code again creates a text file which you can see the first letter change to line and if I run my code in Revit it will take some time but it's it's gonna create the lines for us. Here you are. You can see easily we have created the same lines that we had in Grasshopper. In my third example, I will create some circles in Grasshopper and export them to Revit. Uh, I used the same surface, the points on the surface, and I generated some circles with ra uh, random radius. I've created the text file with my Grasshopper to Revit node. And now if I run my code in Revit, okay, it, it generates the circles in Revit. In this part you can see how I, I can export my, uh, some polylines from Grasshopper to Revit. I've made the polylines based on the points that I had. You can see the text file here. It changed to NERBS curve and if I run my a Revit application, you can see I've made these polylines. In the last example of this video, I'm going to show you how I can use the node that I've created to create one surface, one B-Rep and one box at the same time in Revit based on the forms created in Grasshopper. First, I'm going to do it one by one and then I will create all together. First I've created the surface here. You can see that the same surface can be created 
in Revit I'm gonna disconnect this and connect the box from the project oh let me unhide it here you can see this is the pro uh, this is the box and I'm gonna connect the brep and yeah here is the brep we have created but we can create all these at one step if I delete the existing one connect all these to the point and create them we can see they're all cr created in one step and my text file is like this now I have some points for box some points for surface and uh, some information for the revolve of this brep that I've created these objects can be easily edited in Revit so if I select the surface I can change this box or I can make some changes in the plane as you can see or we can make interesting complex shapes based on these two objects you see if we wanna use a surface as a roof of a building we can create these shapes based on the geometries we, we imported from Rhino or we can match these two and make a solid form based on these two and create the forms that we needed this application needs more work and it's not complete but it can show the possibility of linking Grasshopper and Rhino to Revit and use the benefit of parametric design in Grasshopper and also at the same time the benefit of building information modeling using Revit. Thank you so much.